Hello, my name is Shane Vinay Goswami and in this chapter we would understand a couple of terms related to open Maya and after that we would try to find the DAG path of one of the objects from the Maya scene. At this point we don't know what is DAG path but we would see. So the first term here we are going to understand is DAG and the majority of the Maya scene architecture is based on DAG. DAG stands for directed acyclic graph. A graph that is directed and there is no cycle in it. A rooted tree is one of the best examples of a directed acyclic graph. Maya scene DAG is composed of two type of nodes and we would call them two type of different DAG nodes. DAG node type 1 and DAG node type 2. And what are those type 1 and type 2? The type 1 is transform node and type 2 is shape node. So whenever we create a sphere inside Maya, it is represented by two types of node inside DAG. One is the shape node which defines the shape or geometry of the node or the mesh. And then there is a transform node which defines translation, rotation and scale of an object. So the deeper or the inner node is the shape node and the outer node is transform node. Now we would understand one more graph terminology which is DG and DG here stands for dependency graph. And the nodes of dependency graph are dependency graph nodes. So dependency graph is also a directed graph but it can be cyclic unlike that which can't be cyclic. Now we would understand one more term which is DAG path but before that I would make some space in the board. So DAG path. DAG path is a path from the root up to that particular object. Without DAG path Maya has no idea where that particular object is in world space. For example, if there is a cube, polycube, which is a parent of polyplane, which is a parent of sphere. And for Maya to determine the world space location of this sphere, it would have to have the complete DAC path. And the reason why is because if the cube is translated to X, Y, and Z, 5X, 0Y, and 5Z. And this is translated at 505 5 again. And this is translated as 1, 1, 1. So this 111 is not enough to find out the location of the sphere in the world space. So th if this is the world space, your cube is here, 
which is the parent of plane. Your plane is here and the sphere is here. So it Maya needs a complete DAG pad to determine this location of the sphere. Now we will see the same thing with another example and which we would see in Maya as well. So if we have a scenario where we have three campuses, there is a college which has three campuses. Each campus has two rooms and each room has two computers. So to find out the DAG path of this computer one, we would have to first go to the college, then campus one, I should name them one, campus one, campus 2 and campus 3. So we would go to campus 1 first and then we would go to room 1 of campus 1 and then computer 1. So this is the complete DAG path of computer 1. Now before we go inside Maya and start writing some code, we would have a set of two more codes which are